had a good turkey day and Black Friday. Today I wanted to talk about the super cool Gold Hero armor in Black Ops 3. In a few of my recent Black Ops 3 videos, I've been showing off the Gold Hero armor that I got for some of my characters, and a lot of you guys have been asking me how to get it. As you all know, every specialist has a set of challenges where you get 100 kills, 200 kills, 800 kills with that specialist. Once you get 800 kills with one, it unlocks new challenges where you have to get 40 kills using their weapon and 20 kills using their ability. Once you do those, you will unlock two more challenges, one where you have to kill two people fast with their specialist weapon, and another where you have to get a double kill shortly after using their ability. Once you complete all of these, a new classified challenge called Hero pops up, but you can't do anything about it until you do all the previous challenges, as I said before, with every single specialist. Every single Sunday, every single specialist. Once you complete all of those challenges, you'll get a weird message in game saying transmission decoded, where the challenges normally pop up. Yay, congrats! You unlock the ability to complete the once classified hero challenges, which takes multiple games to complete and are very hard because of a glitch, which I'll talk about in a sec. The hero challenges are the same for all the specialists. For the headpiece, you'll have to get six kills with a specialist weapon in one game six times. The body piece, which is the best because it shows more, you'll have to get four four kills with the specialist ability in one game four times. The body armor is much easier than the weapon, but it will still be pretty hard for the average player unless you get lucky. So here's an example if you don't understand. If you use Ruin's gravity spikes and you get a six man feed, your hero challenge will now say one out of six because you'll have to do it six different times. This is a problem because of a glitch that I don't think Treyarch has addressed yet. I don't know if they're gonna do anything about it unless they really wanted this to happen, which would really suck, because this makes it much harder in my opinion. The easiest way to get six kills in one game is to obviously play Nuketown or Ground War, Domination or Safeguard. You get a triple kill the first round, get another triple kill the second round, there you go. Now you just have to do that a few more times and you'll have some shiny gold head armor, but nope. The glitch is where one round of domination or safeguard counts as an actual game. So you have to get six kills within one round with the weapon. This makes it a lot harder, even with overclock. I mean, I get my weapon two, maybe three times in a round in domination. If it's a tie game and both teams keep capping the flags, making the score go up slower. If you wanna complete the weapon challenge, you have to get the weapon fast and then use it right away and hope you can get at least a triple kill. Then get your weapon charged back up and then use it again before the round ends and hopefully get the rest of the kills. The same applies for the abilities, but you get those much faster and it's not so bad. The abilities for the hero body armor are much easier to complete, especially if you flank the enemy team. For example, Ruin's Overdrive makes you run super fast. When you come across two or three people that are on a flag or whatever, just activate it and shoot. Don't run with the ability because it'll drain it super fast. Just activate it and shoot the people while standing still. So it's still in effect. So you're like killing them while you have the ability on. Same thing with batteries kinetic armor. Don't just use it head on because it drains faster when people shoot at you. Try and flank and get behind the enemy team, especially in ground war where there's nine people. Go to high traffic areas. If you're playing breach, which is the map I'm playing on right now, run to the enemy's building in domination and go up the stairs. There will most likely almost always be one to three people to kill, whether they're camping on the roof or you can see them down below in the middle by B. Profit's glitch can be very tricky. I don't have it yet. There's more luck involved with glitch. Reaper Psychosis and Spectre's Active Camo are super easy, probably the easiest. You can just activate those and run head on, but obviously coming up behind people is better. Seraph, you have to get four streaks with combat focus instead of kills, so just put the lowest streaks on, use it on a flag, and hopefully get a kill or two on the flag, or again, flank. Get it from behind real good. If you're trying to complete these, Overclock is extremely useful and pretty much, you pretty much need Overclock. If it wasn't for the whole one round counts as an entire game thing, or maybe Treyarch wanted this to happen, I don't know, they wanna just watch the world burn, these would be much easier to complete. As of now, thankfully the gold body pieces are somewhat easy and doable, but the weapons and head pieces just take some luck. Ground War Safeguard is good for all the weapons, but lately it's been hard to get six kills with gravity spikes or other weapons in one use. I feel like people are learning not to bunch up when the robot is close to the goal. Probably my fault, I've gotten so many insane clips it's not even fair. Again, you have to do the weapon six different times, so even if you get some insane six man feed with gravity spikes or Tempest or War Machine, you still have to do that five more times. The abilities are only four times, 
And like I said before, they're much easier to complete since you get them faster. It's simple, have the ability charge, flank, get one to two kills, and then do it again that round. So far, I've gotten the gold hero armor for Ruin, Battery, Seraph, Nomad, Spectre, and Reaper. Outrider's Vision Pulse is tricky because it wears off fast and kills don't count unless you get them in like the first second. Prophet's Glitch, it takes some luck and even the normal double kill challenge is hard. Again, I recommend Safeguard. When the robot is close, people will be somewhat close together defending the goal. Throw a grenade at them, use Glitch, and hope for a double kill. That's how I got the normal challenge done. Firebreak's Heat Wave is also easy. Just flank and even run into three or four people on a flag. Use Heat Wave and they won't be able to move or shoot you. I even run straight into people, jump over them, and pop it to stun them. I just have to get four kills one more time and then I'll have it. But anyways, that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful. The Dark Matter camo grind is real still. I'm almost done. I'm gonna play all weekend and hopefully I will finally finally get it so make sure you hit that like button in the face let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this video and make sure you guys ask me questions for tomorrow's ask wolf i'll make it long again since everybody's been loving the long videos so make sure you subscribe to join the wolf pack oh thanks for watching bye guys